three darter. John will be thinking in his head, you know, just just give me a decent finish here. Come down now. Lovely. Yeah, puts the pressure on Andrew Hamilton. We're starting on 18s. Great dart. Another one of those. Double seven. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. And the, and the Hamilton Raw, early doors. Yeah, didn't have to. So, this for the set. Travel 18. It's the way it's been going here. For double four. It's worked for him. It's worked for him so far. So Andy not on a finish, Andy be looking to scare John with a big with a big score here. He might go back up, he might go back up here. Just to keep it level. Zero on the end. Yeah, that's a disappointment for Andy Hamilton, unable to really threaten in this crucial fifth leg of the first set. Henderson still fails to find double four. It's double two that's been good to him. Game but this John time he Henderson. does find that double. John and John Henderson wins. Back for that. Doesn't seem to have gone for any other double but double four and double two in this match. This might be a nice relief for him. Chooses tops. That's usually his favourite. Couldn't find it and Hamilton gets a reprieve. He does. He does. I'm sure we'll go for 20s. We should do. That's the safest route. Travel 20, double 15. Okay. Travel 20, double 5, a 20 ball. He went up the top there. Bullseye. Oh, beautiful dart. Beautiful dart. Wow. So we spoke about that 170 finish. He had a dart of the ball for it a couple of legs ago, Andy Hamilton. He'd love to get another here. He's got a chance. That first one's in. So is the second. Here we go. Straight in the middle of the bullseye for the set. Oh, yeah, that's how close he was. And he may look back at that as his only chance of getting into this match because Henderson here wants a 25 and he gets it for tops. Double Big 10. Dart. Big dart. He's checked up on himself. Big dart this one, Chris. Well, both players, the width of the wire away from taking set two. Probably more important for Andy Hamilton to win it on throw. Double eight. Only just crept in, didn't it? Two fours. There's the ball. There's the ball. One set all. On to a break. Yeah, really, really. New year. And then rocked up on the World Seniors Tour in 2022. And he has been in a couple of finals on this as well. Just hasn't managed to cross the line. Yeah. Right, yeah. what we were saying, it looks like it might be coming true, Russ, because John Henderson's going to have three darts to break. Yeah, and it's exactly what he needed to do. Break straight back. Two awkward darts, actually. Yeah, he's the second John Henderson. Beautifully done, John Henderson. So he's got the oh, break he's back. Really low for the for the singles. He does sometimes do that on a on a sixty finish. Andy Hamilton aimed for the small twenty, but that was uh, brought with risk, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Well, proved it. He missed the twenty, so nine aimed for tops. Again, he's got. I mean, John's sitting there seventy nine. So if John has a go, he's going to have at least one go at the at the double. Ooh, two tens. Tell you what, they weren't a million miles away. But Henderson's got a chance here. This is for the set. Yep. Should get at least one dart double. Ooh, and have two at it. Elevens. Great right dart. <laughs> It's a really good set that from John Henderson. He lost the opening leg of it. But then he's won three on the spin to put himself back in front in this match. Hamilton does have the darts in this fourth set. but all 
Ah, this is nice. He's putting his foot down now. 140. Confidence. Confidence. He knows he's just one set away, just three legs. It's kind of what he did to Kevin Painter yesterday. Painter was very much in the, the third set. I actually think Kevin outthought himself a little bit. He, he lost one leg from, and then changed Jesus. his darts, and I don't think he was playing as bad as he thought he was. Yep. yep. I honestly think you can overthink this. You can overthink. Just go with simplicity. It's the easy way. Oh, That's great oh, darts. Well, he's making it look easy right now, John Henderson. Really piling the pressure. Like I say, John seems to have just got better and better. He had a really, really nervous first round against Trina, um, which he admitted afterwards, you know, he was just so, so, so nice nervous. And that showed. But he won. He got through. And then confidence comes with winning, like I said earlier on. And... Uh, you know, to beat Kevin Painter is a big confidence booster in itself. And to be honest with you, to turn Andy over would be, uh, would be massive for him going into the semi-final. Yeah, particularly the way he's done it as well, because Hamilton was ready to level. He maybe was ready to lead at one point when he won the opening leg of the previous set, but Henderson has dealt with him. And now he's starting to produce really good darts. 134. No, you're not an average man, Russ, but for those that are, 10 points between them in that metric in Henderson's favour on 93 to Andy's 83. Double 16, he wants now. Great dark. Fantastic dark. I think. The trebles are a premium in this yeah. leg. It just gives you a sense of how important the leg is, but that one could be the golden nugget that Henderson was looking for. Great dart. Yeah, treble 14, unless he wants to stay there, but treble 14 is a big one. Right. Brilliant. Brilliant. So John's going to get one throw at a double. He's going to get at least one at a double, you would think. Maybe two. But under... A massive amount of pressure. Oh, double 14. With two in his hand. Oh, he's got it. Fantastic dart. Well done, John Anderson. World Seniors World Rankings. Obviously, there'd be a lot of good 50-year-old dart players out there looking at this thinking next year could be my year. So, you know, start registering at what uh, senior darts and get playing. So we'll top. If you can do that, £50,000 could be yours next year at the World Championship. That's pressure darts. Beats 24 after 12. Jim has to take this out to enforce a final set leg in his first set. And he's not. So Paul's got three darts now at 24. Yep, there it is. First set goes away of Paul Hogan. Break of throw comes in the final leg of it. Trying to prevent that happening by hitting double 15 to break him here. Ah, oh, that's nice. A clean kill. Nifty 90 for Jim Long, who will now throw to take the second set and therefore square up the tight. 54. Was that 73 left? He's looking at treble 17. So it's all, st all even Stevens on the scoring wise, but it's Jim that takes the first chance at a double topper. And he does. Yeah, and in doing so, he wins the second set. Square in a way. Yeah, I think when, you know, in the, the heat at the moment, there's nothing worse when you lose. And then 10, 15 minutes later, you realise, do you know what? It, it was a game of darts, and there's a lot worse things in life than losing a game of darts at times. Well, 
never a true word spoken. But right now, Jim Lund's focus is purely on doing what he did before. He took out 90 in two darts in the previous set, and he's done it again. Double rather than treble single bull attempt. It's been interesting there because obviously a lot of Ameri North American dart players they play a lot of the game of cricket and you know it would have been interesting if he could have set up the balls on the last dart if he would have gone for it because a lot of the Americans do go for the balls dart this is a ball doing a lot in the soft, -tilled, uh, soft tip game over there well he's had pressure applied here by Paul Hogan a brilliant setup that 145 is the pressure going to tell <laughs> well something has just Upset Jim Long there. I'm not sure what it was. I mean, I'm assuming there was some kind of noise. It is dead silent in the arena because the audience do try to give the players best of order. But what that does mean, if there is any sort of small noise, it can be off-putting. So if Jim Long did hear something, he's done well to stop himself there. Yeah. This could be awkward because the darts do stand up quite a lot and they could ricochet into another segment of the ball that he doesn't want to be at. Just like that. Ball your car 82. Yeah, he's moved across a long way to the left as well, so it's difficult to get the angle right. Well, to be fair, that could be a happy accident there for Paul because he's hit, he's hit a small 15, leaving 67, and he's got one dart at the ball. And just like that. And that's all it takes to get back in the game. Hogan breaks there, and now his favourite to go on and win this set. Has to switch down to the 19, and he does. He leaves an outside chance of 80 if, he, if Paul returns back to the board. Double eight. Oh, nervy times. Oh, well, match starts, go missing. Go begging. And that's been a feature of this tournament. Five now for Jim Long, and one here for the set for Paul Hogan. And he does it. Paul Hogan. Take this out, because obviously it offers a Jim a potential chance going 2 0 up in this crucial set, and now he wants the bullseye. 96, Junior 81. This is now nervous times for Paul Hogan. He's been here before in this match. Jim Long gets two darts at double 12. That becomes one at double six. And once lap. again, Jim he on. moves to the cusp of the Paul final four. First. Now, seven darts miss for the match. But those darts go and punish. That's a good marker there for Jim. And he does it. Yeah, Long lives on here at the World Championship. Yeah. Bo Greaves as well at the Grand Slam. But we haven't yet seen a woman win a mixed gender tournament. And... Lisa Rashton really has a chance of doing that today. She does, if, if, you know, if, like you say, if uh, if she keeps her form going as to a, two previous games, so um, there's every chance. 85. At the moment, though, it's going Mason's way this first set. It's been really neat and tidy this leg. Double four. Ah, oh, good stuff from Chris Mason. Chris Mason. 13 data, all four scoring visits in the hundreds, and he cleans up 56 in two. First set in the balance here, 110 for Chris Mason. Does he stay there? It looks a good light. Yeah, he did, but he couldn't find it. 94. A bit frustrated with that dart 84. there, but covers it well with the treble 18. It's Bolt. Oh, well, he's in the ball. What a dart that is. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa requires 124. That's the first one. Couldn't quite do it again. 
Chris requires 40. Chris takes that one. Chris Mason. His first dart. Fourth leg, Alicia to throw. That's great darts there from Lisa. This is a must for Chris. Yeah, this is going to tell us a lot about him. Pressure piled on. 93. Decent setup, but Lisa Ashton should have at least one dart to double her lead in this match. She would not set one. And she wins set two. A brilliant 80 checkout from Lisa Ashton to... First to a finish. And a big one as well. 140. Lisa requires 170. Not to be this time. 21. Chris will come back for 45. 45. Yeah, he's raced through the last couple of legs here, Chris Mason. Double 16 got him the first in this set. Game Double 16 gets him there. the second. He's sharpened Chris up that Mason. department, no Fair doubt about that. Yeah, can she take this out? She's given another opportunity. Not now. Twenty-eight. Chris requires sixteen. Game time. The third set. Chris, Chris takes that third. one. He'll be glad to get Fourth that one under his belt. Yeah, Paul Hogan at the post. A three-two win for him. This is game three. And Colin McGarry and Mark Goodbridge will follow. So Lisa will be coming 101. This will be a breaker throw. She can take this out. 60. Yeah, and Mason Lisa settling down, but only for a, a few seconds. He's going to be right back under pressure. Double 12. Yeah. What a Target shot. She's not missing them doubles at all. Every Second chance she's getting, she's taken. Yeah, she's going to have to produce. It might not be as sizable, but it would be equally as big. And now it's hard. It's hard for Chris Mason. Needs a treble, can't find one. Ashton will return to put him 46. on the brink of elimination. Lisa requires 20. Well, safe to say that's not the best marker. But she manages to find the double. The chance. So double two. Double one. Well, it doesn't look easy, does it? Three. It's covered by that first dart. Lisa requires four. But that semi-final spot. And that one looks covered by the first dart too. Wow, what a, what a game. Lisa carries on her great form. Does Mark Dubridge, who's been beaten in a final on this stage before at a world championship, who needs double 15 because that dart slipped into the double 10. Colin, you required 40. Just had to reset himself there because he wasn't expecting that and maybe it threw the concentration. But McGarry looking at 10s to take the first set one more. And he does. Colin McGarry wraps Colin up the McGarry. first set. 3 1. Mark. Having won the first, he's got a couple of visits to clean it up anyway. 140. The setup is exquisite. Mark Dubridge under pressure here. Max would have left tops. It's not going to happen, so. 140. McGarry comes back Colin looking at double eight. 16. No score. Mark to well, that could 18. be a mistake that costs him. Dubbridge now can finish, and he's going to get at least one dart a double. Ingle 20. And now the double. Game Great dart. Away. It wasn't easy. Mark that finish isn't easy, but Mark Dubbridge made it look like it Third was. Leg, and it was a disaster because Flash. Not in the same neighbourhood in this leg. 30. Maybe he's just conserving all his energy for the deciding one in set two. Yeah, he got rid of those three darts like he thought the leg was over. Well, certainly the second two. 
And the leg is over. Mark Dub it's going to be two at double 16 for a level game. Pressure. And he's cracked. You can see by the look on his face. Set dart after set dart after set dart. Squandered by Mark Dubridge and Colin McGarry looking to be the beneficiary. Two at tops. In it pops. And McGarry doubles his lead. It's a Dubridge doubles darting disaster. McGarry side and this is against a throw. 120. He's got two visits at it. I think he'd like to just do it in one just to exercise those double demons. Couldn't do that and it just allows McGarry an opportunity to apply some kind of pressure. Pressure applied. Is Dubbridge up to this double ten? Yes he is. He's flat. And he's ended up teeing up tops anyway so no trouble. And McGarry won't give him any trouble. So Dubbridge can get a set on the board. That might annoy him a little bit that that stayed in. Don't focus on that. Focus on the double. And Dubbridge does. And gets a set to his name. Every visit that he deems below par. 140. All he has to do is hold his throw in this set. Doesn't matter if it goes five legs. He'll take McGarry to a decider and... Then he has longer to break in that one than McGarry does in this one. Two. At double eight. Only needs the one. Colin McGarry has stopped the flash charge. You can see it off stage, but as we said earlier, looking at all the stats and all the numbers, there wasn't anything between them. So I suppose it was kind of an ever saw we were going to go all the way. And McGarry making that a little less likely with a brilliant setup shot. Because he could still pile pressure on Mark Dubridge here. If he wins this leg, he is 16. one away from winning Colin the match. McCoy he would have to break, but it's a, a free shot, really, isn't it? Yeah, and the 171 setup has given McGarry the opportunity here, and, and he takes it. Play. One match start at tops for a place in the semi final. And it's gone begging. Mark Dubridge breathes a sigh of relief. Can he take us all the way? Well, the maximum came out of nowhere. Can Flash find the finish? 13. He can't. Colin McGarry, this is your moment for a place in the World Championship Colin semi-final. Tops for the Chief to face Lisa Ashton this evening. Surely that's a good guide. One more at tens. And it's there. We can see what it means to him. Colin McGarry has booked his place in the World Seniors semi-final. The pair embrace. Fabulous contest between them. But ultimately...